comes to education, history is being made at the Mackinac Policy Conference. Stephen Clark joins us now live from Mackinac Island. Tell us about an agreement that's changing education in Detroit. Stephen? Every year at this conference, they take on the subject of education, what they're going to do to try to fix a system in Detroit that is inarguably broken. Well, this year's no different. They're talking again about how to fix education in Detroit. The difference is two of the biggest names in education in Detroit and in Michigan announced big changes in the way they're going to educate your children. The historic agreement was announced today on the porch of the Grand Hotel. Detroit Public Schools Emergency Manager Roy Roberts, the head of the new Education Achievement Authority, John Covington, along with Lawrence Wells, representing charter schools, all signing the agreement that's expected to affect every single student in the city of Detroit. It calls for all schools to reach minimum achievement or growth standards, standards that are consistent with a common definition of college readiness and grade level proficiency. Right after the signing, Covington and Roberts joined me live on a webcast on WXYZ.com, and they agreed things have to change. When you look at the high schools, not only in Detroit, but, but, the, but the persistently lowest achieving schools across the state, in some cases, the percentage of children in the school that demonstrated they were able to get past the state test is zero percent. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's criminal. And so that's, that, that in and of itself is, is certainly the, the, the justification for us to do things differently. We're going to have individualized training in Detroit public schools. Learn that from this gentleman and his team. And then we've just moved 10 schools out of DPS to be direct managed. And uh, we're going to run those like charter schools. If you want to learn more about the future of education in Detroit, Please go to Detroit2020.com and we'll steer you in the right direction to learn all about how your kids are going to be educated in the Detroit public school system and how it might affect you, whether you have students there or not. Tonight we're going to be talking about the future of Belle Isle. That's coming up on Action News tonight at 11. Live from Mackinac, Stephen Clark, 7 Action News. Back to you.